No, on the on my computer, uh, you have to insert the USB that you with the the data that you uh, download from the Mastertrol uh, Matrix and Nexus CNC. So we do have uh, the operations uh, operation folder, and we do also have the M740 player dot exe. So let's see what the log operation uh, folder has. It has a, a log folder inside and inside that folder you'll see different um, files. In this case, uh, I'm going to open the file for the date uh, February 17, the years 2022. So let's go back from here. This is a um, portable uh, software, so you don't need to, any installation. You just need to copy the, the software anywhere on, on the computer. Now I'm gonna run the software. And as you see here, I have the option to open the, the folder, the file, sorry. And I'm gonna search in the on the computer, let me, here it is. So this is uh, the operation folder and the thumb drive. I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna select the last file that I have on, uh, on records. You have a file, you should have a file per day, so you see February 16, February 15, and so on. So I'm gonna open this one. And here you have the event number, the date, the time, the screen. In this case, the screen is position. You have the menu number, the running mode or the CNC mode, and the running status condition or code. And then you have um, the virtual code. So let's suppose that you want to know if the operator has made a, um, a tool offset correction. If you go down, you will see in this case that these are the steps that the operator has done in order to introduce that correction. So what I can know here is that the value was, the value enter was 0 0.0005, this is in, in inches, so it's a half a thousand uh, correction. Um, it's very small correction, so. These are the first uh, uh, screen shows the first screen shows the um, star line and the uh, bottom screen shows the end line so you can uh, diagnose or uh, troubleshoot different uh, uh, moments on the on the date so if you want to do a um, go to a certain time, uh, you can do it by clicking this icon and selecting the time. In this case, I wanna jump to the hour 2 a.m. 21 or 20, let's say 20. And now I have from there, and I want to, on the bottom side, to see until 2 a.m let's say 25 minutes. So I have that range in between the uh, bottom uh, screen or uh, side and the, sorry, the top uh, side and the bottom side. So plus if you wanna export this um, as a log file, what you can do is to save it as a text file, in this case, I'm gonna use the same name. 
and I'm gonna save it and let's close this and let me show you how this looks like I'm gonna open this with the notepad uh, plus uh, software and as, as you see it's pretty similar to what you've seen in, in this uh, application but additionally what I'm gonna do is to export this to Excel it's taking some time so now I'm gonna Uh, modify the file in Excel so what I'm gonna do is, is um, I'm gonna convert this or um, these tasks in columns first of all I'm gonna insert a, um, a row and then I'm gonna convert these columns in uh, or these text in columns using the limited option and the comma I'm not gonna use the tab only the comma I'm gonna apply and then you have again the same information here is the event number uh, next to it is uh, the date the time, the screen, this is a menu, this is the running condition, um, this is a virtual key, virtual key code and let me check uh, again what's the next um, I'm gonna run again the, the application uh, running stage uh, sorry running status uh, ah, I guess I, I'm missing the mode This is the mode, sorry. This is the running condition and this is the CNC mode. Yes, it's memory handle, etc. etc. So um, this is HD that I guess is the header, but I had to research in to to know what that means and we have TR also so now what I can do is to uh, insert a, ta a table and I'm gonna say that I have a the header so as you see here the you can identify when the operator has made a correction on the machine sometimes you can um, see like uh, let me show you an example that there was an error on the correction so this is a 0 0.0005 half a thousand of an inch and let me show you the example that I wanna try to explain to you there was another failure on the 10th yes it was February the 10th I'm gonna export this as a log text uh, I'm gonna call it like that and I'm gonna jump to Excel 
and open a new tab to import the file. From the operation log, I'm going to open all the files and I select this one. I'm going to create a delimited, uh, I'm going to import a delimited by a comma. Okay, I'm going to finish this. And I'm going to do the same when well, I'm going to insert the, the line and copy and paste the, the name this control C and control V and then I need to insert the table. Okay, so let me show you the example that I was talking about. Uh, here you are, there is a correction of uh, minus. This was the error. You see, the correction for was, let me open this a little bit more, okay. The correction was minus zero zero one. This means that if, if you miss the, the dot, the CMC will take this as a one inch, minus one inch. Okay, so this caused a crash on the machine and then you will see here a correction where the, the offset was uh, set as a 0 0.01 ten thousand of a of an inch, and in this case the correction was minus ten thousand of an inch, minus 0 0.01. Okay, so I hope uh, I hope this helps you to understand and how to troubleshoot uh, any failure on the Mesa Troll Matrix Nexus machine or CNC. Thank you.